Hello and thank you for taking the time to tune in to this West of Scotland virtual event. Last year saw the resurrection of a competition in Troon's Walker Halls. Uh, it was a huge success and we were looking forward to putting the event on again this year. But unfortunately due to Covid-19 it had to be cancelled along with many other events throughout the country. So we decided as a committee that we'd put on some sort of event just to keep bands uh, taking part in music events and reaching out and uh, making sure that they keep uh, together as a team. So we had six bands who signed up for this virtual performance. The criteria for which was either to play a TV or a film theme and a march. Uh, so we have six uh, good performances as I say, so something to look forward to. But before we do that, we also asked for volunteers to make up a scratch band, a West of Scotland scratch band. We didn't get the numbers we were looking for, but we did get a little group of 15 uh, really enthusiastic players. There are some spaces, because uh, there are instrumentations that we didn't manage to get, So, but the enthusiasm is definitely there for all to see. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce the West of Scotland virtual band playing Singing in the Rain.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that from our enthusiastic little bunch uh, from the virtual band. And now we move to the more serious issue today, that is the virtual performances by our six bands. So we start in alphabetical order with the Colburn Silver Band. And they're going to first of all play the March Castlecock by T.J. Powell. And then they're going to play Beauty and the Beast, arranged by Edward Meyerkriest. And th this will feature on solo horn, Jennifer Crockett.
Next up is the Irvine and Dreghorn Band who have been busy during lockdown uh, with quizzes and making sure that they are getting ready for uh, when the stretches are lifted moving into the new band room um, so lots of excitement there. They've put together two pieces the first one is Crimson Tide by Hans Zimmer this arrangement is by Klaus van der Voet and then they follow this up by an arrangement of Carnival de Paris.
Now ready to play is Johnston Band from Renfrewshire. Band members have really missed rehearsing and performing together during the pandemic, but have found new ways of keeping in touch. From Zoom rehearsals and committee meetings to distance band videos, Johnston Band has tried hard to keep everyone engaged. Other highlights included fascinating guest talks from James Bond and Independence Day composer David Arnold and a session with professional trombonist Michael Hext, the first winner of the BBC Young Musician of the Year contest. In a moment, Johnston Band will feature its soprano cornet player, Helen Mitchell, as she transports us to the magical world of Mary Poppins. But first, the band performs music by George Allen. By the left, quick, march.
The next band we hear from is Kingdom Brass and they are going to open up with a classic war movie tune, The Dam Busters March. Used as the main theme for the 1955 film depicting Operation Chastise, the RAF raid on the dams of the Ruhr Valley in May 1943. Composed by Eric Coates as an exercise in composition, the march depicts the style of pomp and circumstance and that feeling is portrayed expertly by Kingdom Brass as they perform The Dam Busters March.
2020, of course, started off with a victory in Perth for Kingdom Brass and Ian Porthouse as the band won the first section at the Scottish to return to the Championship section where they had been so successful for the past two decades since their formation. This was set to be a very busy year for the band with nine contests in the calendar including Whit Friday and of course the national finals which was due to take place in a few weeks time. The band are obviously disappointed to have missed out on so much this year but the players have pulled together to perform at the Western Scotland event this weekend and are also doing some more pieces for the Corrie online contest in a few weeks time. Kingdom have chosen a piece for their film music which is well known to millions of football fans around the world. Made famous by Jerry and the Pacemakers, You'll Never Walk Alone is of course the anthem for current Premier League and World Champions Liverpool FC. It was of course originally written for the 1945 Rodgers and Hammerstein musical Carousel and features in the 1956 film version Kingdom have recorded this piece as a tribute to all the NHS workers who have given so much during this ongoing pandemic in the hope that we see some light at the end of the tunnel soon and can return to some sort of normality. Here we have You'll Never Walk Alone.
It's now the turn of the Keneal Band and they've certainly had a spectacular couple of years and I'm sure this um, lockdown or restrictions uh, won't be holding them back. They'll be looking forward to getting back together as a band um, and playing music the way it should be played. So they have two items for us. The first item is the March The Cossack and that's by William Rimmer. And then they follow up with an arrangement of Hawaii Five-O. This even has a little fly-in visit from across the pond, um, from sunny Florida. So sit back and enjoy the Keneal Band's performance.
So now to bring today's virtual event to a close with the sixth and final band, uh, we have the New Mills and Galston Band. They're going to play for us first of all the March Night Templar by George Annan, and then follow that up by a piece called Test Drive from How to Train Your Dragon, John Powell, arranged Joey O'Neill. Uh, this piece is a world premiere for a brass band, arranged by recent Royal Conservatoire of Scotland graduate Joey O'Neill. The theme is featured in the original film, most notably while Hiccup is riding on his dragon, Toothless. So sit back and enjoy our final performance from the New Mills and Galston Band.
Well, we have now heard all six bands who have put on wonderful performances. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of the bands for taking part, especially the technicians who put together the virtual performances. No easy task, I'm sure. Uh, to the virtual band, a thank you, and also for being brave and putting yourself forward. Thank you so much. Um, it's hopefully the next time we do it, uh, we can have maybe some more members, but I'm hoping there won't be a next time because we look forward to actually playing face to face. And to the West of Scotland committee, thank you for uh, again sort of having some in insight into keeping us all uh, involved and also making sure that our bands have the opportunity to perform. Um, to you for tuning in and listening. Uh, a big thank you also. Um, if you feel that you would like to make any comments about the performances to say who your favourite performance was or just in general anything about this evening's uh, event please send me an email. Um, that email address is sbbaeducation at gmail.com So how do we finish this? Well we're going to finish it with our virtual band and they're going to play for us uh, our final piece of this evening and it's All That Jazz. Goodbye.
Thank you.